Hello. In this video, I want to introduce you to our new Shopper 6 administration. To find the login interface, just add slash admin to your domain and enter your username and password. On the first page, you will see the dashboard with some documentations to get to know Shopper 6 more easily. For example, the user and developer documentation and the migration documentation if you want to migrate from Shopper 5 to Shopper 6. On the right side, you already see a pop-up that says that you have the possibility to download a new update, but for now it's not relevant, so we can cancel this. In the future, there could be some modules like widgets or similar things seen here on the dashboard. You can see already at the beginning a huge difference to Shopware 5. We are not using tabs or windows anymore. You will find the whole administration on one page. On the left side, you see the current version and the shop status which says that everything is okay right now. On top of the documentation, you'll find our search function, whether in the whole shop or in special categories. The bell on the right side shows your notifications, such as the update which was shown at the beginning of our video. Now we can start with our first category catalog, which is divided into products, categories, dynamic product groups, properties, and manufacturers. At first, I want to show you the administration of your products. Now you can see a chart with all existing products and the most important information. Using the three dots on the right side, you can delete or edit them. On top, you can add a product or search for a special product on top in the search function. On the left side, you will find your categories. Using the three dots, you can create new ones, change the order of priority, and of course, edit and delete them. Now we go on with the dynamic product groups, such as bundled products that should be displayed on your storefront. Just add some new groups and you will see a chart like you already saw in the product list. Below, you will find the administration of properties and manufacturers that are also shown in a chart overview where you can see the three dots on the right side and a bottom to add a new one. On top of the chart, you see a green line which changes if you switch to other categories as every category has its own color. So you'll always recognize in which category you are working right now. As we switch to the category orders, you see that the green line turned purple. In this category, you see all placed orders and their most important information. You can edit and delete them using the three dots on the right side again and place an order manually. The next category shows you an overview of your customers. Here you can see a chart with the most important information like name, address, customer number and email address. To get a detailed information, just use the three dots on the right side. The next category content is used for the visualization of your storefront. If you choose the first subcategory, the navigation turns into a minimized version, so you will have automatically more working space. Starting with the shopping experiences, you have the possibility to make your store more vivid. You can create new layouts, choose between our existing ones, and fill them with your own media, which leads us to the next subcategory. Here you will find already some existing folders that could make the administration of your media more easily for you. On the right side, you have the possibility to change your presentation, whether you want to have a small preview, a regular or a large preview, or if you want to have a list. You can also sort your folders by name, creation date or size and add a new folder. On top of it, you can upload your files. Below the subcategory media, you will find your themes. Here you can add a preview, rename and delete them. And now if you want to see your detailed navigation again, just click on the arrow above your admin. Now let's go ahead to the next category marketing. Here you will find a chart with your promotions, for example, 10% on all products or something like that. To add a new promotion, just click on the tab above. The newsletter recipients will be also shown in a chart overview. With the next category settings, you have the possibility to edit everything concerning your shop and your system, such as scale units, taxes, shipping, or for example, users and permissions or your shopware account. Last but not least, I want to show you the admin below. 
Just enter your profile and you will see all your information. You can edit your profile, for example, change your email address, change the user interface language, set up a new password or upload a picture as there is no one chosen yet. Afterwards, this picture will be displayed on the left corner next to your username. There are also keyboard shortcuts for a faster and more efficient administration. These shortcuts can lead you directly to a specific category, for example, adding a new product or a new shopping experience layout. If you finish your administration, you will find the logout below the shortcuts. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.